All right, got my Osborne out here doing the Reddit basic Halloween boogaloo challenge on it. Gonna load up the file here from a floppy. And had to do a few tweaks on it. Uh, it was quite a few things that needed to be ch Well, not that many. Had to figure out all the curse steering, how to clear the screen proper instead of doing a bunch of new lines, which there was in here, thankfully. Uh, it's not the fastest running, but we're gonna run out here. And let's see how it goes. There's our little haunted house and the bats flying around all nicely. One thing I wish I could have got rid of was the cursor position. I couldn't figure out the escape for that. And as you can see, the witch it does slow things down quite a bit because I have to split the string a bunch of spots on the return and then set the cursor position every time, as was in the CPM version. I couldn't think of a way off the top of my head to optimize that. The window position was too flickery using the window to do it. So I abandoned that. But other than that, it seems to be working quite nice. And I'm just going to cut out for a quick overview here and show you the system. Uh, this is my Osborne 1. Beautiful shape. Guy I bought for, uh, got it from took really good care of it. You can see the program's still running off my basic two, basic 5.2 floppy running, running on CPM here. One thing I really like about this computer is the keyboard has quite a nice tactile feel to it. And, well, not the best tactile feel, but it's got, got a good feel to it. It's not not as cl the same type as uh, my Model M keyboard, but, yeah, it's quite good. And we have the all-important manual, which uh, it took me fi a while to find this page, which has the escape sequence for moving a window and also somewhere in the text how to change it to a position. And on this page, it has the escape code for clearing the screen, which is very useful. Well, not really escape code, but the code for clearing the screen, which is quite useful. Do do definitely like this computer. Peter, one of my uh, favorites I've got. And hope you enjoyed. Take care.